Stomp on the brakes. Navigating English idioms. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our channel, where we dive into the fascinating world of English language learning. Today, we're exploring an intriguing phrase that often puzzles learners. Stomp on the brakes. This idiom is a vivid example of how English uses physical actions to convey metaphorical meanings. So, buckle up as we decode its significance and usage together. First, let's break down the literal components of stomp on the brakes. To stomp means to heavily step on something, applying a lot of force. The brakes, in the context of vehicles, are what we use to slow down or stop. Thus, when someone says they stomped on the brakes, they're typically describing a sudden or forceful action to stop a vehicle. However, when used metaphorically, stomp on the brakes takes on a broader significance. It means to halt or abruptly stop an ongoing action, plan, or thought process. This phrase can be applied to various scenarios, from personal decisions to business projects, indicating a sudden pause or reconsideration of the current course of action. To help you grasp this idiom, let's look at some examples. In personal decisions, when I heard the weather forecast, I had to stomp on the brakes and cancel our picnic plans. In business contexts, the company stomped on the brakes on the new product launch after discovering a major flaw. In conversations, he was about to share a secret, but stomped on the brakes when he noticed someone was eavesdropping. These examples show how versatile the phrase is, seamlessly fitting into various contexts to express the idea of stopping something abruptly. Understanding idioms like, stomp on the brakes, can enrich your English communication, adding color and depth to your expressions. Remember, idioms are a window into the cultural nuances of a language, and mastering them is a fun and essential part of your language learning journey. We hope this video helps you feel more confident in using and interpreting English idioms. Happy learning, and see you in our next video.